comprehension. Acetylene, when treated with chlorine in the presence of NaOH, gives A and is then subject to treatment with magnesium in the presence of ether to give B. B is then treated with alpha chloroacetolehyde 2 moles. C is formed, which is then is allowed to react with KOH to give D and D is subjected to alkaline hydrolysis to give E. E on reduction with Lindau's catalyst followed by KMnO4 gives P plus P dash. Then, what is C in the above reaction sequence? So, we are starting with acetylene and then allowing it to react with chlorine in the presence of dilute alkali. What is the product? Let us first write sequence of the reactions and then answer the questions. So, we are given acetylene and then allowed to react with chlorine in the presence of dilute NaOH. What will happen? Chlorine in the presence of dilute NaOH is nothing but NaOCl. So that these two acidic hydrogens will be replaced by fluorines CLC triple bond C Cl and this is then subjected to treatment with what is in the next step magnesium in the presence of ether that is Grignard's reagent formation now that is this Cl now will become MgCl similar with this side so the either side it is MgCl and MgCl. So, this is known as A and this is B. Now, this B is treated with 2 moles of alpha chloroacetaldehyde. So, what will be the product of the reaction? So, whenever Grignard's reagent is added to a carbonyl compound, so on the carbonyl carbon, R part will attack, that is this. So, resulting in the formation of, so when this carbon C minus attacks this, it will become CHOH in the form of product. So, thereby, what do we get is CH2Cl. So, on either side, we have a Cl, CH2. This becomes CHOH and this is C triple bond C. And this side also, it will be repeated because two moles are added. So, it becomes once again CHOH, CH2Cl. So, here the Grignard's reagent is added to carbonyl compound, not for alkyl halide. This is not going to take part in the reaction. So, the R part of the Grignard's reagent will attack the carbonyl group and give the corresponding alcohol. So, thus this becomes C. Then what are we doing with this C? The next step. So, C is Cl, CH2, CHOH, C C triple bond C, CHOH, CH2Cl and this we are treating with KOH. So, when we go for KOH as alcohol KOH, HCl is eliminated. So, this hydrogen being more acidic, this hydrogen with this chlorine will come out in the form of HCl. Similarly here, this particular hydrogen with this chlorine will come out. So, minus HCl indirectly. So, what will happen? This is CH2, CH and O. And this C triple bond C remains same. This also becomes CH, CH2, O. So, this is D. And this D is then treated with NaOH. That is hydrolysis, alkaline hydrolysis, NaOH solution. Hydrolysis will give us, this will be broken here and here to give the corresponding CH2OH, CHOH. So, thereby it becomes CH2OH, CHOH, then C triple bond C, CHOH, CH2OH. Then what is the next step? Reduction with hydrogen in the presence of palladium. So, that this triple bond will be reduced to the corresponding alkane. So, when we treat this compound with hydrogen in the presence of palladium, what will happen? This will be reduced to double bond. And when we treat it in the next step with KMnO4, hydroxylation takes place at the double bond position. So, what do we get as a result of this? So, one is CH2OH, CHOH, CHOH, similarly CHOH, again one more and then CH2OH. Because with KMnO4, cis hydroxylation takes place. If this is P, then what is the P dash, the second one? Which we can write it as CH2OH, if OH group here and H, and here is the HOH. 
so that is the difference once again HOH OHH and CH2OH so thus there is a difference in the orientation groups that is P dash so this is the sequence of reactions involved in the conversion of acetylene to the final product P and P dash in the form of sequence of reactions now let us answer the questions asked now the question is C in the above reaction sequences when we go for the C so this is what we got A this is what we got B and this is what we got C C is the product after two moles of alpha chloroacetaldehyde is added to this Grignard's reagent where we get CH2Cl CH2OH C triple bond C CH2OH CH2Cl symmetrical product right and here this product is after treatment with KOH HCl is eliminated to give this type of divalent oxygen so therefore if we see the option A it is to start with CH2Cl so changing to Cl and this is also CH2OH C triple bond C CH2OH CH2Cl so this OH is to be replaced by Cl so that the answer is A and here C cannot be the answer still magnesium bromide is there Grignard's reagent because it is being treated with two moles of alpha chloroacetaldehyde even this part should take part in the reaction and here it is not symmetrical so here this is etheric linkage and here alcoholic groups are there so therefore D is wrong so answer is A